Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang semua. Uh, thank you for joining uh, Bite Size Blended Learning Workshop. Actually, I don't feel comfortable like uh, calling it a workshop because um, I'm not an expert in this area. Maybe it is just a sharing session. Next, maybe discussion. Um, and then, uh, uh, my sharing session, I would like to uh, show you guys the response of the survey that I conducted last week. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, sadly, only 31 lecturers response. Okay. The lecture response. Saya tak pasti siapakah yang tanya ini. And then, these are the things that I would like to check. Okay. The readiness of starting online teaching and learning starting in June. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, most of our lecturers are ready. To conduct fully online teaching in the next yang letak satu minggu, so it's it is a, a relief for me. Then most of you guys here are uh, interested to know about Elif and Excel tools to conduct online learning. I will give you guys a list of uh, online learning tools that uh, you guys can use for your various. Let's uh, start with our sharing my my sharing session today. Okay, so. In order for you guys to conduct uh, online learning, fully online learning in June, you guys uh, need to prepare yourself. So here is some checklist that you guys uh, need to on your own. Okay. So first, you guys need to master Elite platform. I am sure that most of uh, Quaka lecturers already masters Elite platform. Uh, students are also familiar with Elite, so I don't think there is a big problem. It is, but I am really worried about new lecturers and lecturers yang baru balik PhD yang belum lagi master in the platform. Okay, but you guys don't have to worry because uh, we already discussed among your program coordinator. Siapa siapa yang ada masalah tu, kita akan ada elite body. Elite body ni akan membantu dalam penyediaan. Uh, all the learning resources in Elite. Okay, so it is among you uh, in your program. Okay, and this is the guide. The, tu the tutorials are here. So, more other discussion. So, if you guys have problem, first first thing first, you guys need to go here. Okay, other tutorials, other introductions, more other discussion, how to add course, how to uh, activate self enrollment, so more other discussion. So, you guys can just uh, have a look at this Elite page. Okay. But kalau masih tak dapat satu juga, you guys can uh, ask me, okay? Anytime, uh, I am ready to help. Okay, so after that, okay. Second is you need to get the right equipment and online learning too, okay? And your equipment doesn't have to be expensive. And saya dapat tahu juga ada pencerah yang dah start beli lighting. Uh, dah setak cantik-cantik dia punya work from home punya uh, studio untuk dia orang buat fully online uh, class which is good okay because not only the student need motivation you you yourself also need motivation to, be, to do this fully online uh, class from your home maybe beli laptop baru ke beli webcam baru ke okay yeah it's a good thing to, to keep you guys motivated and then you also need to explore and practice the online learning too. Okay? There is no shortcut. Okay? There is no shortcut. Uh, you guys need to explore it on your own. Okay? I am here just to guide you, give you the list that you can uh, use for your teaching and learning. But uh, the most important thing is you need to test it yourself first. Okay? And then next. You need to have backup and contingency plan, okay? Because student, you orang tak ada dekat kita, you orang jauh, okay? So, biasalah student akan missing in action, ada yang tertidur, and so on. So, ada yang tak ada uh, internet coverage dekat rumah, so you need to stay flexible, okay? So, you need to be ready to adjust deadline and grading policies for these students in this only, kalau yang you tahu dia memang ada masalah malas ke apa ke, uh, you jangan bagi muka lah. At least uh, yang yang students yang duduk jauh di pedalaman tu mungkin you guys can give some kind of um, extension. Okay. 
Ada siapa-siapa lagi yang tak boleh tengok saya punya screen sharing? Z tak dapat tengok. Tak dapat tengok screen sharing saya. Tak dapat. Tak ada sharing sekarang. Tak ada sharing. Cannot see. Cannot see. Nampak. Yes, I try lagi sekali. So, dapat? Yes. Okay, finally dapat. Alright. Sorry, yeah. ya. Yay, thank you. Okay, so, kita dekat backup and contingency plan. So, be ready uh, to adjust the deadline and ready for issues and deadline to talk. Today, yeah, it is only. And then next is you need to create or provide variety of learning resources uh, because some of the students you are prefer video, other like other students yang prefer reading material. So you need to ensure that all the students get the same opportunities to learn. Okay, tak semestinya kalau letak video letak video saja. Uh, offer some varieties. Okay, right. So next is you need to plan different activities to keep students focused. Alright, uh, tak adalah you nak letak aktiviti satu jurnal, aktiviti dua jurnal. So, boring lah kan? So, maybe aktiviti satu is jurnal. Aktiviti dua maybe quiz, aktiviti tiga maybe short answers. To keep, to keep your student engaged with your content and this can help them learn better and make sure students are keeping up with the course. Maksudnya, uh, tak ada apa-apa ke? Maybe you guys can give some kind of uh, incentive or rewards to them, okay? Uh, for example, first 10 students responded to the discussion, okay, we get something extra, maybe one mark student, okay? but in my case, uh, if the student performs well, saya, saya ada wall of fame, okay, saya akan letak nama dia dekat school, best students of the week, okay, so I, I received uh, a feedback from the student, they feel very proud when they saw their name on, this, on my student's uh, uh, wall of fame. Okay, they can screenshot, they, they will share the card and story, they will look at the card uh, on Instagram and so on. So, yeah, students nowadays, they like to share something like this. So, make sure they make, make them feel motivated. Okay, all right. So, next is, yeah, ensure that your course has a coherent structure and that materials are well organized. These are the main problems. Bila saya check elite page, uh, most of the lecturers, dia punya structure tu tak well organized, okay. Uh, macam mana student tu nak respond kalau dia tak faham, okay. So, structure tu mesti betul. Sometimes, tiba-tiba terus letak, um, for, uh, apa tu, quiz, lepas tu letak. Uh, lecture note, dia tak follow the structures, tak well organized. So, it, it uh, menukarkan uh, student tu untuk follow the learning structure tu, okay. So, make sure you uh, your course have a coherent structure and that materials are well organized. Ini nanti saya akan ajar macam mana cara nak organisekan uh, materials on a layout for your daily page. And some students will be unresponsive macam saya cakap tadi. Uh, biasalah diorang kat rumah, diorang tak perlu nak bangun awal, nak mandi, nak kerja bas and so on. Mungkin diorang ter tertidur. Okay, that is uh, most of the excuses that I got bila diorang Kenapa datang lambat tu tidur? Petang lagi dekat rumah, orang memang tak perlu nak get ready. So, have a plan for reaching out to them. And I am sure most of you guys here have a uh, WhatsApp group uh, with the students. So, uh, make sure kalau orang MIA, you kena cari. Because um, on Wednesday, saya dengar talk kepada Mr. Adus for TV. They have successfully conducted a fully online exam. Okay, lepas 5 minit uh, exam, orang terus check attendance. Kalau tak ada, jangan terus WhatsApp. So, nak tak nak, this is our responsibility now. Kita kena ada contact number student. Uh, kalau dia unresponsive, kita kena, yeah, I know, 300 student is very challenging. Okay, but we have no other way to do it. Uh, kita kena reach out juga. Okay, maybe, maybe in Dr. Jita case, mungkin boleh divide to small chunks of uh, groups ke, uh, art management ada satu I, I don't know, maybe, memang this class is quite tedious for 300 students. Okay. And then, you need to provide timely feedbacks on assignments or project. Okay, because I receive a lot of complaints from students that bila diorang submit, 
tak ada feedback. So it is quite uh, frustrated for them because they they know that whether they are doing right or not, and then they don't know what to improve for the next project. So mungkin lepas dua tiga hari, uh, lepas orang hantar assignment tu, you guys need to give uh, timely feedback. Okay, for for Dr. Jita case, we he have a uh, three hundred student. Mungkin Dr. Jita have a scripted feedback. Okay, dalam blueprint tu mungkin uh, maka dia dua. Uh, apa feedback untuk nombor dua? So you just copy and paste script tu lah untuk uh, according to the marks that dia dapat tu. Okay, tak perlu lah. Dr. Jita nak be in lah. So type satu-satu. You just copy and paste. Uh, so maka satu scripted feedback dia apa? Maka dua apa? So you just copy and paste. That is for large uh, numbers of students lah. Kalau um, students sikit tu, maybe you can, you can have like a more personalized comment and feedback for your students. Okay. Kalau ada soalan, you just can just uh, ask me. Okay. And next is align the goals and teaching activities and the assessment constructively so that your learning outcome will be achieved. This is uh, more towards your course learning upcoming so you need to align the goals and so on so i think you guys have mastered this problem and then next is to give the timeline so that students can participate actively okay uh in my case i have set up activity one you guys need to finish this by 10 a.m activity two need to finish this at 11 30 a.m fail to do so uh at the attendance uh, so that your, part, uh, your student can participate if you don't have main line. If you just don't have timeline, memang will be able to do it. Okay. Next is uh, my guide uh, for online teaching and learning. Okay. Okay, now let's do some kind of revision. This is a part of online course, be it uh, online or hybrid. Okay, this is what you need to have in your uh, layout of the later on okay first thing first goals objective and strategies okay where you have a clear ideas on what you want your students to achieve and then assessment plan for your students learning okay this is includes your course activities and assignments how you assess the assignments and your overall grading scheme of the course and course contents is the material that you provided to students to support their learning activities such as reading or you just can use youtube lecture, uh, lectures and so on and then schedule okay specific course calendar listing all uh completion dates for all instruction units assignments and group projects so that you can keep track on the deadline nanti kalau betty ke apa ke so you might you be prepared and ready a while okay and then syllabus uh a good syllabus um provide all the information required for students to navigate uh, his or her way through the course and this might include uh, policies policies related to discussions forum etiquette okay uh, in my case saya akan letak uh, rules and regulation on my elite page kalau tak hantar assignment tiga kali ke bar ke apa so you need to do this you need to study it clearly in your page so that they tak main mind okay and then online course layout these are the things that i would like to stretch uh today okay i would like to uh online course layout but this is the main problem because kita punya ini di pakar ni sebab memang ada banyak masalah okay kadang-kadang tugas marah pihak kam juga kenapa saya ada assessment dah banyak lebih pada empat tapi uh, labeling ni tak ada so kam boleh lihat beribu ribu page so orang tak tak dapat nak uh, determine whether that is assessment activity so online course they are very important okay and then last is feedback and plan okay uh, collecting data both uh, during formative and at the end of the course to go to the extent to which um, you achieve what you have hope in the course okay that means uh, my favorite juga so that I know what is my weaknesses, what is my strengths so that I can improve for the next class for next semester. So I always do feedback okay, so that my students can give comments on uh, what what can I improve, what they don't understand so that I can explain more to them next week. Okay. Am I going too fast?
okey ke semua? Okey, okey. Okay. Okay. Okay, Zee, okey. Yang cakap saya terlalu cepat. Ya, yeah, okey. Okey, thank you. Alright, so online course, uh, I will uh, pay attention on navigation, structure, look and feel. Okay. So in your elite page, you need to create a clear starting point for your course. Okay, create a heading at the top of the course menu. Okay, ataupun welcome message ke, technology requirement ke. In my case, I put my learning outcome, uh, my apa, apa yang learning unit yang kita akan belajar hari ini. Okay, so that they feels like uh, tak ada lah terkejut sangat tiba-tiba. Uh, you guys dekat lecture notes saja dekat situ tak ada welcoming message. Juga sekarang ni kita kena slowly slowly. Okay, tak boleh tak, tak boleh nak terkejut terkejut. Okay, kalau you guys do it in face to face, maybe no problem. You guys can have an introduction in your class. Tapi starting in June kita akan buat fully online. So you guys need to do uh, some kind of introduction. Okay, uh, clear clear starting point. What starting point for your course? is um, to organize the course menu. Okay. Yang ni macam saya cakap tadi lah, labeling, with, uh, with a meaningful names and clear. Okay. Um, banyak yang tak ada labeling, memang memang masalah. Okay. Walaupun labeling tu macam very simple thing to do, tapi bila saya check memang banyak lecturer yang tak buat labeling. So please, please, please do a labeling. Kalau itu assessment, put assessment. Kalau itu activities, put activities. So that senang untuk pihak kam kira juga. Senang untuk your student uh, tahu juga apa yang you nak. Alright. And then you need to provide a clear information on how students can find help. Because uh, kita buat pilih online kan, kita tak boleh nak angkat tangan, tanya. Okay, doktor, apa benda ni saya tak faham. So you need to provide a space for them to uh, write a question. See if there's anything that uh, they need to Uh, for you to further clarify and so on, okay? Ataupun feedback, okay? You need to, at the end of the lecture, I, I, I usually do it at the end of the lecture, okay? So I can what feedback, okay? Right? So, next is tie your assignments, activities, and assignments together with your instruction. This is really, really important, okay? Materials are posted as well without much explanation. It will uh, make the student find it hard to follow what are they being asked to. Okay, sometimes it can be helpful for you to reiterate that lines and due dates. Sometimes dia tersembunyi dalam punya uh, link. So why not you letak dalam label so that um, uh, dalam apa tu? Uh, your elite so that your clear ni deadline dia bila. Okay. Uh, soalan daripada Mr. Yao, feedback. Ha, boleh dalam elite kita ada feedback. Feedback tu senang saja letak uh, apa tu nanti saya akan ajar. Feedback tu student akan boleh uh, secara anonymous. Mereka akan free to give you comments without knowing siapa yang comment tu. So, mereka tak takut nak bagi you comment. Okay. And then next, establish a clean visual style for your course page. Please make it presentable if possible. Okay, kalau you guys tak familiar dengan Photoshop or Illustrator, Canva boleh membantu. Canva sangat senang. So, uh, saya pun buat uh, header saya guna Canva saja. Okay, uh, gunalah yang free punya kalau you, you guys ada. Dia boleh uh, purchase, okay, tapi saya suggest guna yang free saja. Make it presentable because this is really important because uh, I had to say this, tapi student actually make a comparison of our elite page, okay? Dia tanya kenapa lecturer ni buat tak cantik, lecturer ni boleh pun nak buat cantik. So, um, sometimes to put place at important role, dia akan rasa eh, lecturer ni buat cantik, saya rasa semangat tak nak pergi elite dia nak tengok apa, apa lagi. Lecturer ni macam very crowded lah apa tak. So, kalau you have a problem, Uh, to make it presentable, maybe you can ask me to uh, give you guys some advice and so on. All right? Okay. All right. So, uh, this is the models that I adapt in my elite page. Okay, from Prof. Jilly Salman. Okay, they are from Sweden, Australia. Yeah, the uh, they suggest we do like five stages of online learning. 
and I always receive a uh, question from other lecturers. You want to talk about how I put your elite me, you don't have participate and so on. So it's about the way you design your uh, layout to uh, facilitate the active learning between your students. Okay. So here is the five stages of online learning. Okay, yang saya adapt in my um, in this page. Nanti saya akan tunjuk juga my in this layout according to this five stages of online learning. First one is uh, access and motivation. Okay, actually these uh, stages help students in active learning and increase student satisfaction. And I hope after this, uh, every lecturers uh, able to adapt these five stages in designing the layout of your elite page, okay? Mungkin ada juga yang dah adapt, which is good, tapi kalau yang belum adapt lagi tu, I do hope that you can use these five stages, okay? And the first stages is access and motivation, okay? It focus on how the students understand the learning environment. This is macam, uh, macam uh, motivating students by welcoming and encouraging them, lah, macam saya cakap tadi need to have like some kind of introduction okay where you offer a short uh, online orientation that helps students to develop basic proficiency the learning management system and they need to understand how you plan for this uh, certain learning unit for my case saya akan letak hi everyone uh, welcome back to uh, class gkc statistical mostly animation studio 2 Okay, this is our learning you need today. This is learning outcome that you need to achieve by 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 this by by today. Okay, so by this today, I can tell. Okay, hari ni aku akan belajar ni. Hari ni saya akan belajar tu. So you don't have a general idea what are they going to do today, right? And then stage two, online socialization, uh, is target developing a social space for students to interact with their peers and. The course instructor. This is applied for face to face lah, but for uh, fully online, you need to create a some kind of micro community through active and interactive learning and teaching by um, creating a great opportunity for students to start their uh, learning or maybe give them some ice breaking session. Okay, macam saya, saya akan letak, uh, uh, guys, can you please uh, write no more than one hundred? What have you understand from last week lecture okay so this will help them to freshen up their ideas okay sometimes bila kita datang kelas dia akan datang dengan uh, otak yang kosong kepala yang kosong so ice breaking is very important so that they will um ingat balik apa yang diorang belajar dan most probably yang diorang belajar last week tu ada uh, kaitan dengan apa yang saya nak ajar this week so it is really important for them to ingat balik apa yang saya dah ajar last week okay so for stage three, information exchange, um, interacting with course content and reflecting on what they have learned. Okay, okay. after you guys have shown them videos, uh, you guys can tell you what did you understand from this uh, lectures videos. Okay, you need to plan learning design around the learning outcomes and interaction of the students. Okay, um, example of the activity. Okay. Uh, for short reading summaries before they begin discussing what they have learned in their peers, so that is in stage four. Okay, no less construction. Basically, yang ni kena buat in group project, tapi in online susah sikit. Tapi boleh dia sebenarnya mungkin orang boleh discuss using WhatsApp. Okay, and then they screenshot and then orang letak dalam padlet uh, to uh, as an evidence that they did uh, discussion. Okay, uh, social collaboration. Okay, in this stage four, student also can be a contributor, not just a consumer of knowledge. Okay, uh, there is to kita tengok orang boleh faham ke tak. Okay, sometimes saya suka uh, knowledge consumption ni sebab saya banyak juga belajar benda yang saya tak tahu, benda yang baru. Yes, budak-budak sekarang very advanced kan. So, I also learn from them, especially uh, in knowledge constructions, stage four. Okay, and stage five, review. Macam saya cakap tadi lah, feedback. Okay. This stage focuses on students reflecting on reevaluating on their own learning. Okay, so this is to foster independent learning and increase self regulation. Okay, so that students are more responsible for their own learning, help becoming 
uh, independent learners, okay, uh, this should include reflection, um, evaluation, and critiquing of the learning experience itself. Okay. All right, now I would like to show you the layout that I have created using this five stage model. Yang hari yang ni saya dah share juga hari tu. This is my page. Okay. Ini saya buat kat kampung je. So this is um. Nampak Z? Nampak tak? Nampak. Nampak tak? Uh, tak ada, tak ada image blank. Okay, jadi saya buat sekali lagi. Ini nampak? Boleh nampak ni? Nampak, okay. So, kalau saya terpaksa tukar screen, saya akan stop dulu lah. Okay. Here is a stage one. Okay. This is stage one where saya akan buat uh, some kind of practices uh, and I tell them what they need to learn today so that they have a uh, uh, general idea what I'm going to teach for, for them today. Then their assessment method, learning outcome, learning unit, everything is here. Okay. All right. And then for the stage two, which is online socialization. Okay. Uh, me. Uh, please complete activity one before 10 a.m. and activity two before 11.30 a.m. Uh, for your attendance report, fell to this so we result with no attendance today. So let's see what kind of activity yang tadi saya cakap ice breaking tu. Okay, ice breaking for your attendance today. You need to write about what you have learned and understand from last week lecture. This activity will close at 10 a.m. Okay. My trick is, bila aktiviti satu, saya padam dulu, uh, saya hide dulu aktiviti dua, okay. And then, lepas 10 a.m., saya akan hide aktiviti one, and then akan buka aktiviti two, okay. So that, uh, orang boleh ikut time yang saya nak, okay. This is uh, online socialization lah, okay. As you can see, I have a variety of learning resources. I have videos here, and for further reading, I have a PDF form for them to read. And then a variety of quizzes also, okay? Please answer this quiz. Top three students of this group will be featured as best students of the week. Okay, so these are the quiz. And then after they have answered the quiz, these are the top three students, okay? Best, of, best students of the week. This is for you to motivate them, okay? And then this is knowledge construction, but... Um, Saya letak lepas habis kelas lah, okay? They, they have like, uh, they need to discuss why do you think color script is important. In a group of four, you see here, I put some kind of clear and precise uh, instruction. Please discuss in your WhatsApp group, why do you think color script is important in animation? Please give one or two examples of animation that have a good color script and what impact it, has, it gives to the audience. You may include the screenshot of your discussion, pictures or video here, and you are allowed to give review of the other group post too. Okay, so uh, these are the knowledge constructions. So this is my, my, my favorite part where I can learn more from my students. Okay, and after that, uh, this is the assignment brief. Okay, walaupun saya ada due date semua dalam saya punya apa brief, Saya akan reiterate lagi dekat sini supaya clear diorang tahu. Kadang-kadang diorang tak buka sampailah hari kejadian tu baru diorang buka brief. So diorang akan tertinggal banyak info pasal brief of assignment. So it's no harm kalau you letak balik dekat sini. Okay, so then sekarang ni biasalah. Okay, macam-macam alasan saya tak tahu lah, saya tak, tak tahu. So letak terang-terang dekat sini so that they have no excuses of the due date and what do you really want uh, for them to achieve in their assignment brief. Okay. Next is feedback. Okay. Stage five, feedback dekat sini. I always um, ask them to give me some feedback, okay, so that I can improve my teaching and learning. 
if there's anything that they need me to further clarify, uh, they can just put it here, okay? And I always love uh, them to write the feedback anonymously so that they can just write whatever that they feel without uh, being scared of uh, takut apa yang dia orang cakap tu akan menukarkan saya dan saya akan sus, apa tu uh, akan sus, apa tu pakai hati dengan that kind of uh, that specific student okay? and I also do a reflection of uh, that teaching of the day okay? so that they know what they, what I feel and what they need to improve and mungkin ada pesanan untuk next week so I put my my own reflection here this is uh, my layout according uh, to the five stages of uh, learning, uh, online learning. Okay, is that clear? Ada soalan tak berkenaan dengan five stages tu? Hello. Okay. Ui, siapa tu? Kian. <laughs> ah, Dr. Nizam. Ah, okay. Eh, apa nak tanya? Sebab apa, apa ni, um, selalunya masalah saya kan sebenarnya, um, layout tu. Okay. Saya tengok you punya layout lebih kemas lah daripada saya punya. Okay. Uh, boleh tak macam you kalau dapat uh, screen capture layout tu, supaya saya boleh ikut cara tu, format tu? Dah, dah saya dah email dah hari tu. Boleh tak? You email dekat mana? Dekat, dekat email email ke email uh, saya ada dua this is uh, advance ada satu lagi basic tapi saya nak ikut five stages saya guna uh, yang ni lah tapi tak apa nanti saya akan email balik uh, dekat semua yang, yang macam uh, exactly that yours ni actually the, I'm, I'm very uh, interested in uh, the way you lay out macam itu tu okay okay nanti saya akan screenshot dan akan bagi dekat um, semua orang okay, okay. Uh, apps Apps yang saya gunakan untuk quiz, saya guna quiz is. Quiz is is very easy, okay, sebab uh, dia ada ready-made quizzes dalam tu. Uh, you just type whatever that, uh, oh, your topic, macam saya animation, saya akan type animation, dia akan keluar quizzes about animation. So, you guys can select. And then, you guys boleh edit juga, okay, from that uh, existing quizzes. Okay, quiz is is really, really easy for me to do lah. Right. So next is yeah, ellipse and external online tool to conduct online learning. All right. Um, yeah, yes. Ah, boleh dia tiru tiru ni untuk kebaikan bersama ya, tuan. Teaching and learning resources and example of uh, external and ellipse. Yang ni, uh, if you guys notice, ada uh, PC. Ah, tak, tak nampak lagi. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Saya akan buat lagi sekali. Okay, nampak tak? Nampak dah. Okay, alright. Yang ni uh, disediakan oleh Dr. Sal dengan sedikit bantuan saya. Okay, um, the examples of uh, SLT on teaching learning resources and synchronous web tools, okay, and then asynchronous web tools that you can use, okay. But I am not going to give you guys some tutorials. You need to explore on your own. So, but banyak sangat ni, okay. Ah, uh, tapi jangan cari ah uh, tools tools yang susah sangat sebab student pun ah uh, they need time juga untuk um explore all the software yang you nak gunakan. Cari yang very easy to, uh, yang user friendly and so on. Okay. So for lectures, okay, synchronous, uh, you guys can use Webex, Skype, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and uh, Facebook Live. Okay. For asynchronous, you guys can use YouTube, Screencast Automatic, Loop, or Microsoft PowerPoint. Actually, Webex pun boleh, sebab you boleh um, record lepas tu, uh, you guys can share it with the student. Okay. For studio, boleh juga gunakan Webex in case you guys nak buat studio demonstration ke guna Skype, Zoom and sama juga macam you guys buat lecture, uh, the tools for lectures. Okay. For industrial training, okay, maybe you guys can, uh, uh, this is for apa tu? instructor for industrial training lah. 
uh, lecture yang interest research training boleh guna web page Skype untuk dia uh, tanya dengan orang punya penyedia macam mana uh, performance of your students and then your student pun boleh hantar videos uh, pada anda menggunakan uh, Skype ke Zoom ataupun guna Elite pun boleh ada ada orang boleh record tapi jangan terus upload dekat Elite ya kalau you guys ada record you guys uh, advise it is advisable for you guys untuk upload dulu dalam YouTube lepas tu share the URLs in uh, Elite sebab kalau semua orang share dalam Uh, video tu terus dalam ilip, ilip akan jadi congested, dia akan berat. Okay. Conference app. Maksud checklist tu apa? Conference app. Ya, ya. Yeah, yeah. uh, maknanya semua video memang kena pergi ke YouTube dulu, baru dia linkkan kepada ilip. That is what you are saying. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Sebab takut lambat. Dan dia akan consume data yang banyak juga daripada student kalau uh, diorang nak load uh, elite page tu lambat sebab diorang nak kena load all the videos tu compared to you letak just URL kalau diorang tekan URL tu baru load uh, itu lagi menjimatkan dan tak uh, menjejaskan kita punya elite lah alright right. for tutorials uh, boleh juga webex card zoom oh, itu which one yang student banyak guna that one saya pun tak pasti juga tapi uh, since Unimas dah purchase Webex student pun ada account Webex sendiri so it is advisable for you guys untuk guna Webex lagi pun saya rasa Webex ni lebih stable from Zoom ataupun uh, Microsoft Teams okay so I think uh, if you ask me student pun dah ada account Webex dengan sendiri so better kita guna Webex saja ataupun if you have like others too so maybe you guys can share yang lebih senang ataupun yang lebih stable okay so for discussion okay, macam saya cakap tadi um where they can have like um discussion among them okay you can use my master okay this padlet tapi padlet sekarang dah berbayar okay ada banyak lagi wayclub booklab telegram whatsapp WhatsApp ni memang kita nak monitor but they need to screenshot dan letak dalam tablet ke letak dalam kita journal ke and so on. Alright for demo macam tadi lecture juga guna webex start and so on. Alright. Seminar pun sama. Okay. Alright and then for the group work. Okay. Guna Miho, Notifast, Web. Saya ada bagi link juga hari tu yang uh, Cik Chua Kiman from CAM yang telah list. Uh, mungkin saya akan send lagi sekali so that senang you guys just can click and then boleh go through uh, uh, the tools uh, secara direct dekat uh, internet yang ni tak ada link okay and then for presentation okay you guys can ask your students to record the video first uh, lepas tu upload dulu dalam youtube bagi url tu dekat uh, you punya submission link macam tu juga. Student pun macam tu juga. You don't ask them to uh, upload their video straight away to Elite. Nanti akan berat. Kalau ada 300 student, memang sangat berat. Ask them to upload in whatever platform such as YouTube. Lepas tu just upload ataupun copy the URL sahaja. Okay. And then uh, problem based learning. Okay. Padlet, Blacklet, boleh guna blank space. Okay. You guys need to explore. Okay. Okay. For the case study pun sama juga. POPPL, okay, kita boleh guna Animoto, okay, GPT, My Master, Lobster and so on. And for role play, okay, My Master, Padlet, okay, again, based learning. Uh, tadi tu siapa tanya guna quiz apa, saya guna quiz case ni. Very easy to use. Okay, and then uh, bila buat asynchronous, kita boleh tengok siapa yang dapat markah paling tinggi, yang paling cepat jawab. Okay, student uh, rasa excited bila tengok. Uh, dia orang dah jawab uh, siapa yang paling cepat jawab siapa yang paling banyak betul it will appear in the screen so this is uh, saya paling suka lah setakat ni right so for field trips macam kelas fine arts tu kalau dia orang nak buat um, macam virtual exhibition ke uh, dia orang boleh boleh guna advice flipper zapper pinterest behance or flicker okay 
course for service learning who boleh guna advice we provide naked after the pictures or the videos okay and chat for pinterest behind different this and for quizzes boleh guna google form menti mentor okay uh quiz is like give give kid life quiz and even in web pages pun boleh guna tools kejap lagi kita akan try guna tools buat Alright, for ellipse tools, okay, kalau susah sangat nak explore on this uh, e-learning e tools, okay, kita boleh guna ellipse tools saja. Semuanya ada dekat sini. And saya juga receive feedback from lecturers where they cannot differentiate between activities and assessment tools sebab tak ada, kam tak ada really specify whether this tool is for activities or assessment. Assessment, but this, uh, this can be a good guide for you guys. Uh, to differentiate between activities and assessment but the most important thing is you need to label your assessment or activities so that uh, apa tu pihak kam tahu this is activities or assessment sometimes books pun boleh juga digunakan untuk activities sometimes forum pun boleh juga digunakan sebagai assessment so the most important thing here is your labeling okay so majority of you guys would like to adapt the five stages of online learning which is good i am believe so my hope for this semester and next semester for us to get 100% uh to compile the learning boleh ke please 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 kita mesti dapat 100% okay ada seorang saja yang dah adapt which is good okay uh, 50 out of 28. Okay, bagus Dr. Nizam. Saya suka semangat Dr. Nizam. Okay, alright. So, I would like to close poll now. Ah, itu saja yang saya nak kongsikan hari ini. Okay. Uh, please, uh, in the online academic training evaluation form, so I can uh, copy this link, okay, uh, and then put it in the chat. Lepas tu, please uh, fill in the online form, okay. Kalau ada soalan nak tanya, please tanya. Uh, Z. Uh, biasa awak punya feedback dalam bentuk uh, kalau sebab nanti nak akan buat kelas uh, secara online kan kalau awak punya feedback nanti dalam bentuk recorded audio ke ataupun text ke macam mana you mean student give me feedback uh, no you 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 give feedback to your student oh macam tadi lah i just type it uh, in my ellipse so, on, on text lah on text on text Tapi kalau you nak try uh, on uh, audio saja ataupun video, bagus lagi lah mana tahu kan student rindu uh, Mr. Yao, at least nampak juga muka Mr. Yao dalam bagi feedback ni. Okay, boleh try. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Okay. How do you attract your students to join your forum? Okay. Uh, biasanya bila blended learning face to face, okay. Um, saya akan show the screen in the projector too. Okay. Saya akan tengok siapa yang dah uh, respond, siapa yang tak kalau tak respond tu saya akan tanya straight away why you don't respond. Okay. Tapi kalau online, fully online ni memang susah sikit kalau kita nak attract your students to join your forum tu sebab mungkin okay, you can put like some kind of uh, marks tak, tak perlu banyak lah one or two marks for them kalau siapa yang tak join forum tu dia akan didak mark ke tapi siapa yang join forum bagi satu or two mark ke okay. this is how what 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 you think of now lah just give them reward or incentive something like that Soalan nak tanya. Thank you, Madam Penny.
contoh bagi saya fill in fill in the form ya dekat sini saya dah letak dekat chat Tok Z sorry uh, oh sorry <laughs> yang pulling tu dia boleh buat uh, awal maksudnya kita dah type semua awal-awal then dia dah save kat situ dan masa kita nak buat pulling tu baru uh, live kan dia ataupun macam mana macam tu kita set up awal-awal uh, dia macam boleh banyak juga soalan dia boleh buat uh, I don't know apa dia punya limit tapi saya nampak tadi boleh banyak letak soalan macam kita buat exam buat polling and then lepas tu kita akan save dia akan uh, automatically save uh, as apa uh, sekejap eh dia akan automatically save as mana tadi dot atp Okay, lepas tu bila you nak buka call tu, you akan you cari je lah soalan tu dan dia akan automatik keluar. You boleh set up berapa berapa minit you nak uh, student jawab call tu, lepas tu dia akan end uh, automatik ni. Oh, okay. Easy. Thank you. No problem. Lagi soalan? Kalau tak ada apa-apa lagi, I wish you guys good luck. Okay. The man who can make hard things easy is the educator. Okay, you guys are the educator. So make hard things easy. Okay, have fun in designing your online class and you can do this. We can do this together. Okay, all right. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Thank you very much. Selamat berbuka puasa. Thank you.